going to record. All right, everyone. So we always like to try to start on time to honor everyone's time too. So those of you that are getting on, my name is Kirsten Raycoon. I'm kind of the, I guess what we say, grand mayor. I'm the big, I'm the big grandma of, of the Grand Vin team. And um, I'm going to have everybody, if you would like, we'd love to hear maybe where you're from. And we'll have wine guides say where they're from, maybe how long they've been a wine guide too. And then if you're interested, you're on the line and you are not a wine guide yet, you'll share, you know, where you're from and have you met a wine guide? Have you been to a traveling vineyard tasting? Maybe how you found out about us too. So again, my name's Kirsten and I live outside St. Louis, Missouri in O'Fallon and I've been a wine guide for 17 years. I can call on someone that might be easier so everybody doesn't talk at once. I'm gonna look at my screen and start left. I'm gonna call on Lisa because she's unmuted. So how about Lisa Gardner? Hi, I'm Lisa Gardner and I live in Maryland and I'm a director with Traveling Vineyard. I've been a wine guide for about four and a half years and I do it full time and I love it. I have two teenage daughters and that in itself is reason to market wine. <laughs> sure, because kids, yep. It was a good one. So we can take this step when others cannot. Yeah, and we've got a little baby. Someone's got a TV on. You can hear the TV. Trying to figure out who. Um, how about Nikki? Do you want to introduce yourself? Yes. I am uh, Nikki Douglas. I have been a wine guide for eight years now, and I live in Southern California in a little town called Grand Terrace. I do this full time, but I didn't start out that way, but I am grateful for the freedom and flexibility that I have uh, in this business. Wonderful. All right, how about Carol? Well, hello, I'm Carol Houck. I'm from Central North Carolina. I've been a wine guide I don't know, six years, six and a half years. And I'm retired from federal government. So this is kind of my fun job. I use my wine guide funds to help support um, my dog, a dog rescue. So it's it's just a, a different way to support it without eating into my retirement. So I love it. I love the wine, love the dogs, love the money, love the fun, love the friends. It's always fun seeing all your dog pics. <laughs> all the dogs you help, because you just helped 100, 100 dogs, I think it was rescue. It's awesome. Um, and from the chat, we've got a couple of people and you can either type in the chat where you're from, if you like, or you can unmute and share with us. And I apologize in advance if I say your name, pronounce it incorrectly. Um, so we have, is it Kiana? I feel like I said it wrong. Did I say it wrong? <laughs> Don't be shy if you want to unmute. <laughs> it's, um, it's, pronounced, it's pronounced Kiwana. 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 And you are in Elk Grove, California. Yes, I am. Yes. Yeah. Another California girl. <laughs> All right. How'd you find out about Traveling Vineyard? Well, I happened to uh, see, first of all, I was streaming on uh, Instagram and um, a sponsored ad, you know, came over and I was also on Facebook seeing it as well. So I decided, I said, you know, since I, I, I love my wine, I'm always visiting different wineries in and around uh, California and wherever I you know, we visit, I will find a winery. So I said, well, you know, this would be a pretty good opportunity to learn a little bit more about it. So I reached out and um, a young lady named Lisa, she uh, emailed me and we've been chatting, oh man, <laughs> for a while now, uh, since December uh, of 2021. So mm -hmm. um, I finally tonight, I have had the chance to, uh, you know, get on and, and check mm -hmm. you all out. Yeah, awesome. Is that the young lady, Lisa Gardner? Yes, yes. I think of Thank you for, yeah, for you're saying her last name because I didn't want to mess that up. Oh, so, you're yeah. fine. She loves being called a young lady, I'm sure. <laughs> okay. <laughs> lady <laughs> being the operative word. Just kidding, Lisa. Just kidding. <laughs> All right. And then in the chat, we also have Fatina, who I actually talked to today. She just put her info request in today and, and she is from Maryland. Um, and she had seen the ad on Facebook and thought, hmm, so she's a little more interested in being a virtual wine guide and running her events virtually versus in home. So we could definitely talk about that. So um, we have a couple more 
wine guide leaders on here, I wanted to just introduce so you can see the different places everyone's from and also the different years of kind of experience that we've got too. Um, how about Julie Weatherhold? You wanna introduce yourself? Hello, I am Julie. Um, I've been with Traveling Vineyard for about a year and a half now. Um, I'm from Pennsylvania and um, I also am a teacher and a mom of three. So it's definitely something that you can do uh, while you're living, living life and keeping busy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And Julie's a trip earner too. So yeah, you definitely, if you got those higher set goals, you can do that alongside busy, a busy life. Um, and we've got our other lovely Julie. How about Julie Scogan? <laughs> hey, I'm Julie Scogan. I have been a wine guide for over eight years. Um, I'm also a military spouse of what, maybe 23 years now. <laughs> I lost count. Um, and I started my business in Virginia, I then moved it to Tennessee, and now I am in Florida. Um, so it's definitely a business that you can move with you, or if you're traveling, as long as we're open in that state, you can certainly host a wine tasting for friends and family in mm -hmm. your other states as well. Yeah, and you're a great example too. You earn trips as well, and you've been able to move your business successfully. All those states, like you mentioned, like a lot of our military, our military uh, wine family. So anyone else that's joining us as a guest, do you want to share where you're from, maybe how you learned about Traveling Vineyard. You can, again, you can unmute or you can type it in the chat. That's fine too. So I'm just gonna bust in and announce that I have an invited guest. Her name is Jennifer and she's being shy and she just wants to listen. Oh, uh, sure. We have, um, I have, I'm a new wine guide. I the My last call I was considering, um, I've gotten my, <clears throat> my welcome kit. I have been driving my upline crazy with lots of questions, and um, I am holding my first launch events this weekend. I've got a Saturday at seven and a Sunday at three, and I'm, I don't know, you know, I'm used to talking to people, but I'm going to flub this up. <laughs> <laughs> going to do great. <laughs> um, but Jennifer is one of four or five people, five people actually, that have expressed an interest I announced a week ago Sunday that I was joining Traveling Vineyards. And with that one post, five people have expressed an interest. Mm -hmm. Yep, that's, we tell people that once people see or hear, especially when they go to your tasting too, they're gonna be like, ooh, I can do this too. Wait, I yeah. can drink some wine and <laughs> talk about wine and eat food and get paid for it. Yep. And meet people and yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, all the great things that we'll, we're gonna we're gonna talk about too. So I saw, um, I think there's one other in the chat. Um, so Donna, so we've got Donna Wine Guide from Pearland, Texas. She has been with us almost four years. She just had sh shoulder surgery, so she's not going live tonight. Poor thing. So glad you're on to join us. Maybe we can bring you some relief and maybe some laughs, Donna. Well, with our goofy humor, we like to have some fun on these calls too. So we kind of razz each other. Now with that, um, anybody have any questions? We can just dive in any questions that you have, um, or we can just talk about some general questions that a lot of times people have. But again, you can type your questions in the chat. You can unmute and just ask us. Everything's fair game. <laughs> so nothing's off limits. You can ask us literally anything, except maybe our weight. We'll lie about that. Everything else we'll tell you the truth about. Maybe our ages, we might fudge a little. We're all young ladies. <laughs> we're all 21. Yes. Yeah, we're, we're all at least 21. Enough. That's exactly it. <laughs> 21 plus a little bit. Tina has a question in the chat. Yeah, so she's got a great question. And just so I'm not the one talking all the time, I'll have one of the other leaders answer this. And she said, do I need a license to sell wine in Maryland? So I live in Maryland, but it's actually a traveling vineyard across the board. Um, so you don't need a license because we don't pour the wine. And so we are just the guide. We have our host pour or the guest pour. And so we don't need any licensing to, to be a wine guide. Mm -hmm. Simple answer. <laughs> yep. Easy, easy peasy. Yeah, great question. I presume that is also the reason why we don't deliver. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that's why Traveling Vineyard will, you know, they will ship the wine direct to the guests or the host. 
which personally, I love that. I don't want to make deliveries and drive all over, especially with the price of gas, right? right. <laughs> we want to make yeah. money. <laughs> okay, any other questions? Yes, I was wondering, I'm Pamela Cook. I live in <laughs> North Carolina. And I was wondering if there's a wine guide close to me. I live in Youngsville, which is just north of Raleigh. I would mm -hmm. like to actually host a show before okay. I make my final decision. And I know that we had talked uh, last weekend or weekend before last about uh, the girl out in uh, Surf City area. Mm -hmm. And she was supposed to have kind of like what you're doing tonight and she had to cancel. Mm -hmm. So I was going to go to that. Well, anyway, I thought, well, why don't I see if there's somebody close to me, host a wine tasting and then take it from there yeah absolutely so we can do um we could even talk a little bit about decider events so if you anyone can actually host a decider event um nikki do you are you able to pull see if you can pull that decider event did we talk yeah. about pulling it up i can remember if we did yeah we did <laughs> um so you keep talking and i will get it up okay so you, you have um, an option is it okay is it let me, no you is have it, to give me permission to share Oh, this silly thing. Let's see. Yeah. Or just Why make me a co not? Maybe hit this. Try it now. Okay. Is it letting you know? Yeah, yeah it will. <laughs> Love Zoom. <laughs> Technology can be okay. hit or miss sometimes. All right. So um, the decider event, some of you might have heard this phrase before. Basically, so you can host a wine tasting. There it goes. And part of like the best host discount, we have great host rewards where you can get free wine and discounts on your wine, discount on our Rewind Discounted Wine Club. And the best deal is you can actually get whatever host discount you earn, you can apply that to your starter kit. So not only are you tasting the wines, your friends are experiencing what a wine tasting is all about, you are experiencing it on the host side, you're also gonna get a discount on your starter kit. So that's an option. So I can look into, we'll see who we can find um, closest to you. Carol, That's is that anywhere near you? That's it's city. about 80 miles from me. So it's a good, it's, it's north of Raleigh. So it's a good okay. ways. Yeah, because I knew it would be the only, I think the only one right now that I see on the call, but we've got other people. So we'll check and see um, who is, you know, around to do a decider event. And decider events are available, you know, generally for everybody, as long as we have a wine guide that's, you know, in your area. Yeah. And if not, there's other things we can, we can work on doing too. If you'd well, like to. You also, might, you also might want to check somebody in Southern Virginia because she's okay. close to the Virginia border. Yeah, okay. about an hour, about an hour from Virginia. Uh, maybe not that far, I don't know. It's, it's close, it's mm -hmm. close, it's probably an hour. Okay. And what was your city again, Pam? Youngsville, Y-O-U-N-G-S-V-I-L-L-E. -L -L -E. Okay. Yeah, I'll work on that and I'll message you about that. It's, it's close to Wake Forest, yeah. uh, Raleigh, you know, it's, it's in that area. Okay. All right. Thank you. Oh, very welcome. Yeah, and hopefully maybe there'll be some more meetups soon too, because I know you were driving pretty far to that. So yeah, it was about three and a half hours, but I mm -hmm. at, at the beach, I mean, you can't go wrong, right? <laughs> yeah. Beach wine. <laughs> yeah. Like I'm there. <laughs> <laughs> my arm. Yeah. yeah right. Exactly. <laughs> Oh, let's see. So we have some people that raised their hands. Um, I think Pamela was probably when you were asking that question. And then Pamela, do you have a question? Or was that? Yeah, um, no, that was it. Thank you. Okay. On the decider event, that's uh, the first I've seen that you can apply your host rewards to your kit purchase. Um, does that when you're placing the order, does it walk you through that? Does it give you that option? Yeah, the host discount. So if they're yeah. in 20% or whatever, yes, it will take it off if you when you select the success kit. Okay. Yeah, when you're on that host order. Yeah. If you have any trouble trouble with that, just message me if you've got somebody doing that. <laughs> no. A, a, a comment that or a suggestion that came to me this week was for my launch events, I could draw a um, surprise mystery hostess 
Mm -hmm. Is that common? And yep. apply and then give them the host rewards? Yeah, so I mean, that's an option you can do. So everybody that replies yes or that are attending the event has to have equal um, opportunity to be the to be the host and earn those host rewards. Mm -hmm. So okay. that's a lot of wine guides do that too when they're hosting their own events because you can host your own in-home wine tastings at home. So sometimes you're going to go in other people's homes. Sometimes you'll host your own. Will some right. of us do like VIP events? Some of us will be like, oh, we got five new wines. They'll they'll invite their past host and best kind of best customers. Um, anyone want to talk? Any of the wine guides want to talk about maybe hosting some events in their own home or just what we do at wine tasting events in general, in case some people are on that are not familiar with hosting wine tastings. Hi, everyone. Hi, hey. Hi. <laughs> Hi, Nikki. Hi, Carol. <laughs> Um, that was, that's one of my questions. Um, I went to a great event at Nikki's house and we did go through some of the, you know, wine guide things and how it works when you're hosting or when you're, you know, having the event. My question is when you get the kit, what do you get that kind of helps you know what you're talking about? Like, I mean, I love wine. I drink wine, but like all of the things and ins and outs, you know, is there some help there in the kit or do we talk to someone? How does that work? Well, there's a lot of different ways. So like the wines itself, you're gonna have on the back of each bottle of wine, there's even a QR code that you could scan for tasty notes and recipes. Okay. And that's really a perk I always kind of tell my customers about because when I'm not around, you know, that's kind of me in their pocket so they can look up things. But in your tasting room, kind of your back office, you're gonna have access to PDFs on the wine, that tell you little details about that wine, you know, that it's an organic winery and the fourth generation women owned or whatever it is you want to share with that, with that group and what varietal it is. There's also videos on the wine. Um, and then of course, one-to-one, -one, you know, you'd have one-to-one -one training with me too. And then we also have our team page that we have, you know, templates and wording and, and ideas on what to say, how to run an event. We just, from A to Z, we've got all that for you. So it's not like you're gonna get a kit and you're gonna go, I don't know what to do. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. Just the so, whole education part of it. So mm -hmm. I feel confident when I'm talking about it. Right. Yep. And we've got all those tools the Travel Vineyard does. And then we kind of fill in, you know, as our team, we kind of, we fill in with that too. Cool, and give, cool. yep. If I can chime in, Kirsten, a little bit on that. Um, yeah. There's so much training when you join as a new wine guide. Mm -hmm. um, take it all, take what works for you. But there's uh, Traveling Vineyard is so good about providing you the tools to what do I say about this wine and what order do I serve them in and, mm -hmm. and things of that nature. It's just, I, I hate to say it makes it so easy. Now I've been doing it for six years, so it's very easy now. Mm -hmm. But um, and then my, my wine, wine mama, as well as Kirsten, sent me their text or their um, script for the tasting. And I'm sure your, your, your wine mama would do that as well. It's just, it just makes Kirsten, it so easy and Kirsten so simple. Kirsten would be my wine so mama. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So we all share. I mean, we do that as a team. Like we have a very active team Facebook page. It's a private page that we share. Um, you know, hey, I'm doing this at events. This is working. Or I tried this with the lemon and grape demo, which if you haven't been to a tasting, you're like, what? what's a lemon and grape demo? But you will. And it's a really fun thing that we do at events. Um, and maybe, Nikki, did you guys do that at your wind up? I'm we didn't do something. that. No. We you know, just, just little fun things, but we all we share, you know, Skittles. it doesn't. We did the Skittles. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So we do like jelly bean or Skittles. You'll see it kind of intermixed. Either people do one or the other. And, but yeah, we share. We, you know, I have like whole templates of this is what I send my host when they book. And, I think we all kind of have our own thing like that. We try to make it easy for our team members. So it's not reinventing the wheel, you know, cause been doing a little while, a lot of us. <laughs> so we kind of learned what works and what does not But again, you can kind of do what works for you too. Cool. Yep. And uh, yep, Pamela, I, I'll message that to you, Pamela, she had asked for a script. I know I have it somewhere on the team page, but it's been a while since I've updated it on the team page. Um, I have an updated version I will, I could repost and I can send to you too. Just send me a message in case I forget. Okay, over, thanks. Over 40 brain, I forget stuff, sorry. <laughs>
And um, Kirsten, I'll just also chime in too to say that um, also in the kit, we have some great um, beautifully made uh, teaching cards that have um, some really fun uh, wine education as well as um, training up or I should say um, notes on all of the varietals and different food pairings. So those some people um, find really useful to use at their tastings and they can um, actually be used with your guests and, and make it more interactive with the event. And then um, Lisa and I were just talking this past weekend about the um, presentation uh, mode in our tasting room for people who don't want to use paper at all and you want to do everything digitally on your phone or your iPad, you can go in and just plug and play your presentation um, and everything is already done for you. You're just kind of pulling the, the items together that you want to put in your presentation. So um, to reiterate the point of there's so much training and support and information uh, to make us look like experts when we're really not, um, <laughs> it's really easy to do. Uh, it's really, I shouldn't say easy, but it's really simple to uh, deliver at your tasting with all of the content that we have available. Yes, yeah, good point. I know I forget because I've been doing it so long, I'm a paper person. So, yeah. but I know lots of, lots of the wine guides use that presentation mode and just, you know, use their iPad and swipe away and whatever works yeah. for you, there's lots of options. Lisa had to remind me about that. Uh -huh. <laughs> Yeah, we just we just upgraded it and it's it's amazing. I mean, I I tell people all the time at my tastings, I'm not a wine expert. I just love our wines. I love to share them. And mm -hmm. when it takes the pressure off of me, and I said I can Google just as well as you can. So, you know, if I don't know the answer, I'll Google it with you if you'd like. Um, and I don't want to memorize how much alcohol is in one of our wines. Like I can just read it. And, you know, after a while you get the flow of your presentation and how you want to work your your tasting but like that kind of stuff I don't I still use my my presentation and I love it it's so easy to use it makes it less intimidating and it makes it approachable for everyone that you don't have to know all this stuff because honestly I knew the difference between red and white when I came in and that was about it but in the four and a half years like I know like tannins and grapes and you know atmosphere and you know all the things that sometimes I say things and I'm like who was that that oh that's me you know so you, you learn as much as you want you can take as much of the information or the training as you want and leave the rest of it and um, that's the, the traveling vineyard does a phenomenal job with giving you everything that you need and then some and then you have all of us like you have this community of right. uh, your wine tribe like we're here for you Mm -hmm. Exactly. I like that. Wine yeah, tribe. Just, yeah. Mm -hmm. And well, we call ourselves family because it's like, you know, like Kim we were saying, oh, here's still be my wine mama, which sometimes people, and honestly, I know a lot of us when it first kind of came out with that lingo, we're like, I, I don't know, that seems kind of odd. But then as you immerse yourself in our culture, we really do consider ourselves family, except we're the family you really want to hang out with because we drink wine and we 100% support each other. <laughs> but it's, it's just different. Functional. <laughs> <Yes>. Exactly. <laughs> but it is, it's just, a, it's a different culture. Maybe then if you've tried other direct sales or just some other businesses sometimes, it's just a much more empowering culture and it's mostly women. There are some men in it too. And they have coined, you know, you might've seen the phrase wine guide life. So the guys say wine guy life, which is awesome that they do that too. But it really is like a family. So we have wine sisters, you know, so we'll have people on the team that will stay their wine sisters and wine mama and, you know, all those different lines like that. So it's really cool to have that support and not that competitive, you know, that you can't go to Nikki because she's not technically your upline or you see Tish who's on here, you see her doing something really cool. You can ask her and go, hey, how'd you have that big event? She's gonna tell you, oh, I did X, Y, Z or whatever it was. So it's not like it's, you have to stay in your lane. We're all together. So, which is a really cool culture that we have as a company, not just our team, but as a company too. We do help each other. I just messaged in the chat. She said, there are no secrets. Nope, there's no secrets. <laughs> no secrets, we all share. <laughs> Jennifer, did you have a question? Your hand is up. Yes, I had a question. Can you hear me? Yes. Yes. Um, I'm here in 
happen to see I'm with Pamela going to her launch party Sunday. My question comes from a business marketing growth standpoint. Um, I guess in growing and getting the word out, are you allowed or um, to like set up booths, like maybe at like a craft fair or anything like that? I'm, it kind of made me wonder when you said that only the hostess could pour the wine. So that's what I'm kind of wondering, like in that retrospect, do you always have to have um, a hostess present or how does that, how does that work exactly? And so you asked a, a couple of questions. So the first answer is yes, we do participate in uh, vendor events and um, pop-up events. We do not take any wine to our events. So you don't have to worry about okay. pouring at an event like that. So we can take empty bottles to display. So what we normally use those um, events for um, is to get our name out there, to make contacts with people, to book wine tasting events with us, or to join our team, um, or to join our wine club. So it's more about just marketing and promoting at those events and not actually selling or tasting. Okay, that's what I was curious to know. Thank it's you. A great way to, it's a great way to, to, to generate business, um, especially if you're in a, um, a new neighborhood or if you're the place that you live does a lot of events like that. Um, some people do market nights regularly. And so it's a great opportunity to let people in the community know who you are and you become the community wine lady. <laughs> yeah, we definitely, are, we are not anywhere near being a household name. So yeah, doing vendor events is a great way to help build up. Even if you're established or you consider yourself established, it's a great way to get into new circles. Right. Wine lovers. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay. But I think Thank the one you. thing that's important to add to that is you don't have to spend a lot of money on marketing. Um, I do vendor events, but only if they're $50 or less. Most mm -hmm. of my hosts come from my events. So it's not getting into this and thinking, okay, now I've got to spend a lot of money on marketing or attending events or um, doing things like that. It's, it's kind of referral based. Mm -hmm. Great point, Carol. That is a great point. <laughs> Sherry, you have your hand raised. Do, do you have a question? I do. Um, I farmer, my daughter's farmer high school does a auction. And um, you know how you donate um, items for people to bid on or, or as an advertisement. Is, that, is there a way to work traveling venue into something like that? Like... <laughs> Yeah, that's, I know that's you're, hosting, you're hosting the party free anyway, but can you advertise it as a free tasting for up to 10 or 15 friends or how does that? Yeah, there's usually different ways we can figure out to work it if you want to try to participate in something like that. Because generally, I mean, you can't raffle off or auction something that's already free. <laughs> free um, right. So, I mean, and same thing, I mean, you can do baskets. Um, we're uh -huh. not supposed to have our wine in it though. So you could do like a fun wine lover's basket. Can we do like um, the, I mean, air, the air raider and different things like that? As long as we're not yeah, done. You can even just have other things that aren't even traveling vineyard too. And just other like, you know, pairings that go with the wine, um, you know, okay. like cheddar popcorn and, um, you know, chocolate covered pretzels and dark chocolate and things like that too. Okay. So there, okay. There's always a way to work it to make sure mm -hmm. that, you know, everything is, you know, above the line. <laughs> okay, all right. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, these have been some great questions. Anyone else have any other questions they'd like to ask or post in the, in the chat? What would be some of the no-nos that is just absolutely forbidden? <laughs> <laughs> I, well, I know that what can I not I know do that. <laughs> well exactly I mean I, I get it <laughs> I've sold jewelry I've sold Tupperware I've sold Ava mm -hmm. I've sold about everything I haven't never sold wine so mm -hmm. hey <laughs> but everybody all these companies all have you can't do this you can't do that what is some yeah. of the traveling vineyards no no yeah, I get it I mean 
we have a few things, but I still feel like as far as a lot of the companies go, because I have sold a lot of different things throughout my lifetime too, and had a lot of friends that have sold different products too. Um, you know, wine is the most regulated product out there. But that being said, I feel like it's one of the easiest things for us to sell. The, really the only no-no is you're not gonna take cash. Okay, so you're never gonna take cash in an event. Um, Don't sell wine out of your trunk. Yeah, so I mean, that'd be, again, that'd be like, you know, taking cat, like you're not gonna, no one's gonna give you a check and you're gonna take Venmo or PayPal or anything like that and hand them a bottle of wine. Uh, what, what would be that their big no-no? Um, you're not gonna serve anyone under 21. Yep. Which, you're not you know, serving, you period. Yeah, you shouldn't serve anyone under 21 anyway. <laughs> I mean, technically. Shouldn't right. serve, period, right? Yeah. Yeah, right. well, you're not gonna have anyone under 21 present at your event mm -hmm. or participating in your wine tasting. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, our tastings uh, are private. I mean, they're, they're not, oh, you can't put a sign on your door that says, come on in, let's have a wine tasting. So they need to be invitation, you know, they're invitation only, private homes yeah. or businesses. But it's not really, I feel like that's not really a no-no, that just protects you. And Right. Yeah. They're always free, so we can never mm -hmm. charge for the tasting. Yep. And I think some of our no-nos make it easy for us. Like we can't deliver wine. So that means, you know, and we can't sell it from our trunk as Lisa said. So I don't have to have an inventory. I'm not schlepping mm -hmm. alcohol around in, the, in my trunk. Um, mm -hmm. So those make it easy on us too. Mm -hmm. I love how people sometimes think I'm like the, I'm like the ice cream truck that I have it all <laughs> in my car. Yes. <laughs> That's Why would I want to do that? <laughs> <laughs> they do. How many bottles of this do you have in your car? They're like, how big is your Jeep? I'm like, it's not that big. <laughs> I'm not doing that. If but how many are like the go-to, you know? <laughs> but you know what? Our wine ships fast. It's like, calm down, people. It'll come. Yeah, You'll have it. In three days, there. if that. Yeah. It's faster than Prime these days. Yeah. True story. True story. <laughs> it is. And I don't have to put pants on to get it because I can just, my, my little UPS guy, he knows who I am. And I'm like, I'm here, put it over there. <laughs> I talk to mine on the ring and I'm usually not even, I'm walking the dog and I'm like, I'm upstairs. I'll be there in a minute because he will not leave it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I mean, how many, if you've ever done any other direct sales companies and you had to carry an inventory, Think about how hard that was. You had a room dedicated. I mean, I've had friends that have done that and I'm not knocking other direct sales, but I'm just saying, I know a lot of people that have been stuck with a lot of inventory and a lot of quotas trying to guess what their customers were gonna need. And they got stuck with buying a lot of product and their husbands, their partners were not very happy about that, right? So we don't have any quotas. You don't have to make any deliveries. You don't right, have to keep so inventory. Buy if I have a month where I'm on vacation for two weeks and I don't have any events, the only out that I have is the cost of my website, $15 a month, correct? Right, and you get that free for your first three months. That's And that's the only thing you ever have is the $15.95 website fee, that's it. The no stressing of, oh my gosh, I can get my $400 in this quarter or begging people for orders so you don't get deactivated, you know, before the two month minimum that you gotta put 600 in those things like that. We don't have any of that. I mean, typically if you're a wine lover, you're also going to be buying wine anyway. <laughs> yeah, that's the only inventory I carry is my own stash. <laughs> yeah. I mean, we don't have to carry inventory, but most of us do. <laughs> <laughs> and, and remember, you get 20% off what you're buying, so you can't beat yeah. that with real estate. Yeah. Yes. And I see Cindy, let's see, Cindy Washington, do you have a question? Um, yes. I don't know if, uh, can you hear me? Yes. Okay, yeah, uh, I'm in Georgia, so, um, and I know Carol and I have communicated through emails and uh, text messages, I think, for a while, and so I thought this was a good opportunity tonight, so, but is there, is there someone around here where I could attend an event and see what it's like? What, what city are you in, in Georgia? I, I'm in, okay, I'm in Chatsworth, I'm about, um, I'm close to Chattanooga, Tennessee, and I'm also uh, about 60, 60 to 70 miles north of Atlanta. 
I actually grew I up in we, Georgia. That's why I ask. I'm like, ooh, I wonder where she's at. <laughs> and I know we have some wine guides. There was a wine meetup, I think, in Georgia. Wasn't Jordan having a, a meetup? And she doesn't. Petri? She doesn't have. She doesn't have anything planned. I just messaged oh, okay. her the other day. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. We can probably. I mean, we can ask around to see who might be in that area, either for okay. you to attend or something to that extent. But I will tell you, I don't know about the rest of the wine guides, but most of us never attended an event before we joined. Really? Um, okay. It was like, oh, I love wine. This is so cool. Well, I love that. wine. <laughs> yeah, and I, I do love wine. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll tell you, uh, most the top leaders in this company, I would say almost all of them had never been to a tasting before. Okay. Joined. Okay. So, I mean, that shouldn't stop you. I mean, it just kind of tells you how easy it's like. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> it does. the wine yeah. and drink it. <laughs> <laughs> we'll walk you through well, I got it. That made. <laughs> I can do that. Can you, right. can you write those instructions down, Kirsten? <laughs> <laughs> Do you need to Zoom with you tomorrow? <laughs> Open it. <laughs> Pour it. Well, I'm, really, I'm gonna I'm gonna hold my very first event, and I'm only about two hours north of you. I've never been to a tasting. Um, I've only watched them on video, and I've got one Saturday night at seven and Sunday at three. So come on up, sister. Oh, Pam, where are you? At? Where do you live? At? Where are you? Right. I'm between Lebanon and I'm just north of Murfreesboro, Tennessee, just outside of okay. Nashville. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Oh. We can tell you're from Tennessee just by the way you pronounce Murfreesboro. What did you say? <laughs> <laughs> you got the northern people stumped. <laughs> Wisconsin. But my daughter went to University of Tennessee, so Knoxville. So I've got a little bit of that understanding. Mm -hmm. We got two screens done. I'm making sure I didn't miss anybody with the hand up. Let's see. Is there anything? I feel like we've talked about a lot of. I'm kind of looking at some notes. Kirsten, you oh, had gosh. somebody who mentioned they were interested in the virtual wine guide, and then somebody yes. else talked about the Somology cards. Do you want to talk about the three different join kits? Yeah. Well, you know what? I would love. That's a good point because I know a couple people on here are really interested in um, the virtual aspect because we talked a lot about or somewhat about doing in-home events. Um, and is Julie Weatherhold still on? I'm looking for, I don't think she's on. Darn it. She's like our queen of virtual. Oops. Oh, I was like, did I hit something? Not it. I didn't hit it. <laughs> um, but we can absolutely um, talk about the, the virtual option too. Nikki, do you want to talk about, because I feel like I'm talking so much or or yeah, Carol, you brought it up or somebody want to talk about the, the three options for the starter kits? Nikki, go ahead. Okay, sure. Um, so I'm sharing my screen for anyone that's looking at that. Um, we do have three options to join. So the digital success kit um, is $59. And that's for someone who really just wants to share socially, um, but not interested in building a team or doing wine tasting events. It doesn't come with any wine, but it gives you the website and the business in order to um, allow people to order from you. Uh, the best value um, is going to be in the essentials kit or the complete success kit because those both come with 10 bottles of wine, which will get you through your first two tasting events. It also gives you um, the business supplies that you need. So a couple of brochures, some order forms, some accessories. The difference between the two kits is that the complete success kit comes with that purple case that you see that will hold your 18 tasting glasses. It also gives you the teaching cards that we talked about earlier. And then both of these options give you, you heard us talk about our website um, fee is $15.95. When you sign up with the essentials kit or the complete success kit, you get that free for the first three months. And that's because we want you to get your investment back. We want you to get your training done. We want you to get some uh, events under your belt. And by the time you start paying for your website, the business is already paying for that for you. Did I miss anything? No. Um, and there is a really fantastic bonus in March. Yes, there is. <laughs> Wait for it. There it is. <laughs> there it is. Boom. Can you see that? Yes. Can you see it? Okay. Yep, sure can. So for the month of March, 
Um, not only do you get your 10 bottles of wine that we're going to get you through your first two wine tasting events, but you get two of our rewind wines this month uh, that are yours to just drink and enjoy. So Portachina uh, is our first vegan wine, actually, from Italy. And then uh, Bailando is our Malbec from Argentina. Both are amazing. And you get to enjoy those yourself with your with your girlfriends that want to celebrate your new business. Uh-huh. Or by yourself. We won't we won't tell or judge. <laughs> <laughs> we would like she got a bottle of wine and she didn't share with you. Um, so virtual events. So we're sure Julie's not on anymore, right? I wanted to share a little bit about um, you know, we do in-home events where we bring the five wines. People obviously taste the wines. You're kind of guiding them through the wines. You tell them little snippets about the wine. My wine tastings usually last about an hour-ish or so. Um, I think most people are somewhere around that. Um, you might play a game. It's totally up to you. And then you have virtual events. Um, one of you lovely leaders want to talk about virtual events, maybe how you do Facebook, and then maybe the wine tastings to go. How we kind of Those are kind of the two main virtual ways to do like wine tastings. Yeah, I like tastings to go. So tastings to go was really popular during COVID. Um, so we use um, the nice thing about tastings to go is that it's a little different than a Facebook event because a Facebook event is basically like a catalog party. Like you're not tasting the wine, which is obviously the most exciting part of it, right? So the tasting to go, as you can see, we put the wine. We the host gets the wine. The guests all get the wine. We you know you put it in the little. Uh, I call them jello shot cups. I know there's probably a more official name for it, but that's what I use them for. <laughs> so jello shot cups. Um, and then you've got your five wines and your jello shot cups. You do some prepackaged snacks, super simple prepackaged snacks. Um, you know, during COVID, we were doing porch pickups, so that was like a you know contactless kind of thing. Um, and then everybody meets on Zoom seven o'clock Friday night, you do the presentation. Now there's also another way that um, some wine guys are doing it where if you are dealing with people really not having a lot of time to, to meet together, that all, it, all they're doing is putting a little QR code on the little paper and they, it's like a, self, um, a self-paced tasting. And so they're doing it all there, you know, there's a little video, there's information. And mm -hmm. so you're still getting the wine in people's hands and they still get to experience it. And, you know, we've had to be really super creative because of COVID. So mm -hmm. uh, we've got some really great ideas to, uh, to make tastings interesting. Mm -hmm. We're to get the wine in the hands of the people. Yes, <laughs> they were ready. I, I'm still doing virtual events. I mean, I know a lot of them, you know, there's some people are going back to in home so you can really do either. Yeah, so you have those options. And then about the face, anyone want to talk about Facebook? how we do our kind of Facebook events without wine. Oh. Well, I can talk a little bit about that, but Julie, who was on here, she's the queen. She is the um, queen of it. The Facebook events are really like somebody mentioned a catalog uh, party to a certain extent. There's no wine exchanged, but you um, maybe your Facebook event might be three, four or five days long. Um, you post, for me, I post several times a day talking about the different wines um talking about some some fun wine aspects of it oops my clock goes to chime um and things of that nature and then people join from the shopping cart link and it's a fun way to do it without and and it gets anybody across the united states so it's a great way if you have people all across the area that can't come to you and do like the wine tasting to go at least as lisa mentioned so again it's just another option another opportunity I do all three. I do wine tastings go, Facebook events, and in person. Yeah. Me too. Yeah, I love the Facebook one. And Julie, we're saying, go ahead. I'm sorry, Lisa. That's the nice thing about the launches is that um, Pamela, you know, she's doing her launches. And so if you have people that you know are not local, you have these options now. And we had to do this very quickly to pivot our business when COVID happened. But now we have all of these resources and all of these creative options that if you want to offer you know, a long distance tasting, you can do a Facebook event and you can do an in-person or you can do a, you know, a porch tasting to go. So um, it, there's really, the sky's the limit on, on your options. Mm -hmm. So 
I moved uh, cross country five years ago and I have, you know, a lifetime of contacts back in Wisconsin. So I've already explored the, explored the, the concept of sending tasting kits to Wisconsin mm -hmm. and doing a virtual event. Mm -hmm. Yep. You can absolutely do that. Yeah. So, I mean, that's another option virtually that you can do too. So you could send the five bottle set to them. They could get on zoom and you would get on zoom. So they'd be on basically you only have two screens. If they mm -hmm. were gathering at the host home, you could do that too. And also we have the mini flights, the mini bottle flights that mm -hmm. people can do. So um, for people that are all in different parts of the country um, that want to get together and do a tasting, they can order a three bottle um, flight. Uh, it's $20 and it comes with three bottles, two reds and a white wine. Uh, the bottles are six ounce pours, so much more than they would get in a wine tasting event. Uh -huh. uh, but each person would um, order this flight and then you would be able to bring them all together on Zoom and do a wine tasting event. And then they would then order at the end of the event as well. So, so many options. Uh -huh. And all these things we mentioned, we have templates, we have helpful training documents, we can walk you through it. It's not going to take you weeks and months to figure out how do I set up a group in Facebook and how do I do whatever. Um, and, and, you know, the Facebook events too, you know, with groups, you can schedule it. You can sit on Mondays, take an hour and schedule it out for the week and be done. I did that in November when I vacationed with a friend for her birthday to Chicago. And during the thing, I'm like, oh, ding, there's another event or, or another order. Ding, like orders were coming in. <laughs> I was on vacation and I had an $800 event. I literally was on vacation wasn't doing the thing. As so long as you know how to copy and paste. Yep, you got copy it. and paste, yeah. you got it. We have all those <laughs> templates for you. So, I mean, these days you, you know how to copy and paste. We can all do that, right? Right, bless you, you sneezed. Thanks. <laughs> all right, we're, we're kind of coming down to the, to the end here. Any other questions or anything we missed that we should have talked about leaders that we, that were like, Oh, we need to share this with them. We talked about the March special, the starter kits. We didn't talk about the fast start, which is really great for new wine guides, did we? We did not. We did not. We Kimmel, do you have a question? Yes, the rewind. I'm going through mm -hmm. my little packet here. Uh huh. How does that work? And I don't see how much it is. So if I was, you know, setting someone up for a rewind. Mm -hmm. What is the monthly fee and is that auto pay or how does that work? Oh, Lisa was like a rewind queen last month. Lisa sold, what'd you sell? Uh, 10 last month. So I'm gonna let Lisa talk a little bit about rewind. I know that is fantastic. Yeah, rewind is our answer to like Stitch Fix, Bark Box, you know, but it's better because it's wine, right? Um, so it's every <laughs> other month, it's pay as you go and it's in pairs. And so it's always the discounted way to get our wines and the pairs are $33. And it doesn't matter if you've got a $30 bottle of wine or a $15 bottle of wine, it's always $33 a pair. And when you're at three pairs or six bottles, it's free shipping. So you've got $99 and free shipping and you can either get pairs of reds, pairs of red whites, new pairs of all whites and pairs of sweets. And so there's so much to choose from. And then going forward, once you have your subscription, your base subscription, you're going to get reward credits, which is $5 off bottles. And that goes towards add-on bottles, which you can customize and just add on stuff that's in our inventory. It comes with pairings and recipes and cocktails and all kinds of things. Super fun, comes right to your door and you get residual pay on it. So those 10 rewinds that I sold this month, uh, it's March. No, I sold them last month, February, March, April. So then in April, hopefully they'll all keep it. And then I get paid on that without doing anything. So it's, it's residual, mm -hmm. it's residual income. And as a wine there, guide though, you get another 20% off of that. Right. So and it's already discounted and you get another 20% off. Yeah. So you get double discounted and free shipping as long as you're getting six bottle subscription. Mm -hmm. It's, it's the best way to get your wine as a wine guide and you can try different wines. And what I love it at for a guest is, 
you know, have you ever bought something? I don't know. I'm going to say HBO. And you, oh, this month free. And then you forget and you can't and you forget to cancel right. and then you're charged mm -hmm. next month. I love that Traveling Vineyard sends an email to every Rewind customer at the beginning of the month. Remind mm -hmm. them that they have it. How do they want to order? Things of that nature. So you're never, as a customer, you're never surprised that mm -hmm. it's coming. I just mm -hmm. love that aspect of it. Mm -hmm. And one of the things that we offer as Traveling Vineyard Wine Guides is is our phenomenal customer service, right? We have to separate ourselves from liquor stores and wine shops and other companies. And the way that we do that is with our customer service. And so I always reach out to my current month subscribers. I let them know what's coming. I let them know how many reward credits they have. I let them know how they can get free shipping if they don't have enough wine. And they appreciate that because it's mm -hmm. not just some company taking money out of their account. It's Lisa, their wine lady, taking mm -hmm. care of them and really, um, showing them that they, they, they have value to me. Mm -hmm. And on our team board, we have two wine guides, Braden and Sydney, that we make, they make a post every month to give you wording that you can send out to your Rewind customers. It's one of the many yeah. things our team does to help you. So you don't have to think, How, what do I say? How do I contact them? We help you with that. Copy I can't and paste, paste. Copy, copy and paste. I'm the copy mm -hmm. paste. Yes. Word of the night. <laughs> <laughs> no, and it also helps to remind you, oh, it's the fifth of the month. I need to reach out to my rewind people and let them know they need either need to skip it or ship it or, you know, so that they know. No, yeah. or if they need help, you can place and the order for them. Wines. So sometimes, um, maybe like a year ago or something, we actually had wine in the rewind that you couldn't get anywhere yeah. else. Nikki Kirsten, do you remember that? Oh, like, yeah. wasn't it Black Trumpet? Wine? Wasn't it Black Trumpet? Yeah. Yeah. You yeah. couldn't get so it good. unless you had a rewind. I was like, what? <laughs> yeah. So it's exclusive. It's like special. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, raise your hand if you've ever had a wine club, not just re not just traveling vineyard wine club, but if you've had wine clubs, I know a lot of you aren't on camera, but um, if you've had wine clubs from other, you know, almost said countries, <laughs> companies, whatever, um, it's a lot different. Like, you know, some of them are every three months and all of a sudden what they do is boom, they just send you something and you're like, oh, Oh, there's a two hundred dollar charge. What am I getting? You don't even know what you're getting. Ours, you even know what you're getting. You can say no, or I'm gonna change it to this. I can skip it without fees. I've joined some California ones. You are not allowed to skip. They, you know, you are required for a year to get that every three month shipment. So it's not a commitment. So a lot of people like that, but. Mm. So and just today, I actually sent out all of my emails to my current wine subscribers, mm -hmm. and. Um, I had a couple that were like, you know, the gas prices are getting a little high. So I think I want to cancel it. And I said, you know what, why don't you just skip it? And then when things yep. get better and we, you know, calm down, you won't lose your reward credits and mm -hmm. we can come back to it. And they said, you know what, that's a perfect idea. So yep. that that's the customer service that we offer and the no penalties or anything else. It's, it's a mm -hmm. fantastic program. Yeah. And I mean, I point out, I do sometimes cheat on Traveling Vineyard and I buy some, I love rosé bubbles. I buy it from Total Wine and the rosé <laughs> bubbles I bought have gone up four and five dollars a bottle. Inflation. And I'm going to point out that Traveling Vineyard wines have not increased. Nope. They have not, but at your liquor store, I bet they have. Oh, that's great. I'm going to, I'm going to keep that. I'm making a note. I'm telling you, I can send you screenshots of it. I have my yeah. old order and my new orders. Cause that's total wine. I get, you know, get some of the, I love yeah. my rosé bubbles. No, I didn't know it was going on a day. So yeah, it's gone up and it did not order because it wow. went up. <laughs> so I said, I will do without. Oh, well, <laughs> I will do well, without. Good. Well, get, they know. Seems safe there, yeah, right? Uh, so anyone else have any questions or kind of going on on an hour because we've been having so much fun drinking wine and talking wine and hopefully I'm answering all your questions. Carol, I'm know, Carol looks empty. Lisa's empty. My husband texted me and goes, let me know when you need more wine. <laughs> He'll sneak Tell him to bring me some too. Everybody needs <laughs> Carol yeah. and Lisa need wine. Can you go to North Carolina and Maryland and chop chop? <laughs> right. Oh, Nikki needs wine too. <laughs> Get on that golf cart and go. <laughs> oh, we sold it. What sold it? Yeah, awesome. for more than he paid for it. We weren't really using it, so we sold it. There you go. <laughs> yep. Truck parts. His race car. His truck parts needed that. All right. 
I think another thing quickly that we really didn't talk about much, maybe a little bit, but is just the camaraderie of this group. Um, you know, I think Lisa, you mentioned it on a Facebook post that you never really knew that you needed, that you wanted this type of, of friendships and, and things of that nature. Yes, everybody helps each other in the business, but it's so much more than the business. It's so much more than the wine. Mm -hmm. It just, um, I don't know, I can't imagine not doing this because of the people. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, I agree. Totally agree. 100%. That's so funny, Carol. I was thinking the same thing. I was like, before we go, we should talk about that because I just even looking at some of your faces, I think about the fact that, I mean, I've been doing this for eight years, but I have friends in so many different parts of the country because mm -hmm. of this business. And I mean, friends, friends, like Carol and I went to the Biltmore and had an amazing time before harvest. And I vacation at Kirsten's house frequently. <laughs> and you got to come again. You're supposed to come here before harvest. I know. I, I'm coming. And then, and Lisa and I discovered our obsession with Pretty Woman and, and Twilight when we were out on, on our last leaders retreat together. So, like, that is such a fulfilling thing to me that I, I mean, that alone would be a reason that I will do this until I retire the second time. Um, because it is something that when I was working in corporate America, I was so busy and I have four children who are now all adults, but when I started, they were all at home and my life was children and my career. And I didn't have time. To, I, had a, I had a small circle of friends that like, were lifetime friends from growing up, but I didn't have time or a desire to make new friends. And when I found this, this company, or I should say this company found me, it was such a, an overwhelming experience of fulfillment that I didn't even realize was missing from my life. So um, I know I'm probably getting a little sappy, but I'm, I'm not joking. Like three <laughs> thousand percent. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. It's that you don't know what you don't know. Yeah. yeah you didn't right. even, yeah. Absolutely. You just don't. Yeah. Very well said. Because of my life that I didn't even know I needed filling in. So yeah, I'm so thankful. It's way more than wine. Like all this, I'm like, is there wine? Oh yeah, there is wine, but it's way more than wine. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yep, absolutely. The memories we make, the time we're able to spend with kids, the prayers that our friends give us, and it's all, you know, the personal side, the business side, there's, there's just nothing like it. So, and once you get in, you'll see, you will see. Yep. We <laughs> crazy, know. we crazy. Yeah, yeah we're, we're a little nutty. We, we calm it down on here, but wait till you get teen calls and I have wigs on and I don't know. We, we do have team calls that are a lot of fun too. Once uh, Aren't we wearing togas at the next, at the, oh no. We're no, we changed it, but oh, I think I might still wear my green wig for <laughs> St. Patrick's day. I don't know. I'm right, 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 right. <laughs> and hold a basketball, forget in the game. <laughs> Shoot baskets. <laughs> I don't <laughs> figure it out. But we like to do fun stuff and play games on our calls and uh, we've, you know, life's hard enough, right? There's always wine and friends to make and might as well have some fun while you're trying to get through it, right? So yeah. with that, any last thoughts or questions? Boom, boom. Nikki summed it up pretty darn good, I think. Heck yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, she did. So, well, we hope that you've got a lot of your questions answered tonight. And if there's anything that we didn't get to or you'd like to know, you could post if you're in the opportunity group ask it there, ask the person that invited you to this call or um, oh, there's a question, you learned a lot? Great, so Fatina said she learned a lot. Nice meeting all of us. So hopefully we will see you on our team board soon too and we can officially welcome you. It's been fun to see people join from these and then see them on our team board too. And maybe meet you in person at our annual harvest convention which will be in my hometown yeah. this summer late summer, August. All right. Well, thanks again, everyone, for joining and hanging out with us so long. Time to go refill your wine or maybe go to bed. I don't know. It depends, depends <laughs> on your time zone or eat dinner, maybe. Yeah, for sure. All right. Well, thanks. Have a good night, everyone. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Good night.